Today, I will be going over everything that you need to know about using attractions and drop shots. And then later on, I will go over some beginner setups for you beginner players who just unlock the sea so that you can go throughout your journey. All right. So we've had a lot of people ask this question. Um, could you make a C video on the topic of attractions and how to use them? Like if color matching the, the um, pilker lure matters for using beads, rattles, fire stick, and so on. I will honestly benefit from it. Okay. So a lot of people have been asking that question. So I might as well make a video on it. All right. So first things first, you unlock attraction elements around 70%. I forget, all right? After you unlock it 100%, the game doesn't tell you what percentage you unlock things at. Um, I wish that they would change that, so even after I unlock 100% of all the skills, I can still see uh, what percentage you unlock things at, so it can help others. Um, but it's been around two years since I unlocked the drop shots, or a year and a half, so I forget what percentage it was. I believe it is around 70, 65, 70% is when you unlock it. But yeah, right here, use droppers and drop shots, okay? Um, there's a lot to know about this. Um, but first off, we're going to look at the map here. Okay. All right. Very quickly here. I just want to give a shout out to each and every member of the channel. Thank you very much for supporting me. It means a lot from the bottom of my heart. And today's the first of the month. So, which means the goodie bag has arrived. So if you want to get yourself a premium goodie bag, all you have to do is get at least bronze membership and you will receive a premium goodie bag, which includes some pretty juicy stuff. So if you want to get yourself a premium goodie bag, all you have to do is get at least bronze membership and then you'll get your prize. But for everyone else who is membership of the channel, message me in game and I will go ahead and give you your um, premium goodie bag. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy in the rest of the video. So I'm going to show you some setups to use for the shallower holes. So we got the 30, 34, 41 hole. All right. Um, if you find any hole under 50, the setup will work. Um, I mean, this setup will work in the 120, it'll work in the 80, but we're, this is going to be targeting smaller fish to get your bite rate up and to make a little more silver. I will go over more of a heavier setup to use if you want like Greenland sharks, poor beagles, and all of that good stuff later on. But for now, for these three holes right here, let's talk about what you should use for those, okay? So if we go to Poseidon, um, the, this is drop shot. So everything you see here, all these three categories, one, two, and three, these are your drop shots right here. Your attractions are going to be your beads, uh, fire sticks, fire tubes, and so on. Um, so if you're fishing the shallow holes, I'm going to show you a setup here really quick. Um, you can minimize your line um to like say 40 kilograms something like that 50 kilograms because you're only targeting small fish but for me it doesn't honestly really matter just use what you have i know a lot of people will switch out their you know 205 kilogram line they'll put on 50 kilogram line they'll change out their reel for a tinier reel to, um more of a setup for tiny fish but for me i've never done that i don't care i'll use my full big setup for tiny fish like my 205 kilogram line my Antega ltd <laughs> It's a little overkill, but it, I don't think it um, it matters that much. The bite rate is still through the roof, so I don't know. The, it, personally, I just used a uh, big line with it. It's all preference, I guess. But this is what I will use right now. So if I went to those three shallow holes, and this is a, another day, regular day, this is what I would be using right here. So you can use any of these, all right? Any of these. It's just the matter of time here. Okay, it's time. If you put on a bond 70 3 well, even if you fish the 30 meter hole, it's gonna take an hour to get down there. All right, it's gonna it's gonna take forever. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using anything under 100. Even 100 takes an hour to get down to the bottom at 30 meters. But yeah, um, stay away from the seven bonds. They're just man, they have no weight to them at all. So unless you got patience, um, yeah, no. So Lurker 100, I would say number one. Uh, Lurker, um, no, where's the other one here? <laughs> All right here, Lurker 103. So the red and blue and the white. These three right here, I would 100% go to first, okay? So my favorite is the Lurker 107. That's the original. Everybody uses it. Well, most people do. <laughs> For your hook sizes, okay? This matters a lot. So it depends what you're fishing for, even in the smaller, shallower holes, okay? Um, two slash zero, yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, three and four. So when you're fishing the small holes, you want to focus on three and four slash zero. Three slash zero, three hooks, three odd hooks. 
that's going to basically get you all the bite ra um, best bite rates in the world because three slash zero that um that targets every single basically fish out there it's a uh, small enough where it's even a, a surrey sorry of how you pronounce that tiny skinny long fish um they'll bite in the three slash zero so basically the tiny 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 fish that the eel pouts um uh sc scorpion um what's it called shorthand sculpins um sores um the tiny tiny fish will bite to three slash zero if you went up to the four slash zero you might target um not yeah target trophies of the smaller species what i just mentioned or the four slash zero that's going to target a little bit more of a bigger species so with using four auto hooks you're probably going to attract more cod um and so on so the bigger the hook the more chances of a bigger fish being hooked on so better be safe than sorry just use a three slash zero um you can still get big fish on here as well of course um but three slash zero is uh safe because it targets all species basically even the tiniest fish you have a chance of getting the trophies of those um yeah unless posted otherwise if you see in discord oh this hole 30 hole is really hot i'm using four auto hooks then use four slash zero hooks okay but um if you're just going off um yourself i would use three slash zero hooks all right so we're going to equip that right here and the, the quality matters uh if you if you're poor then don't worry about it but if you have money buy the Mar marlin series um or the mega rafter series these are like 120 silver per hook i know it's very expensive <laughs> but uh it uh, it helps so that the fish don't fall off it take um Yes, less chances of the fish falling off the hook. If you buy the cheapest hook out there, the odds of the fish falling off is going to be significantly quite higher. Okay. Um, so the attractions. Okay. So basically here, these rattlers are going to target like wolfish species. Um, it's going to target more of the bigger species. Okay. People think it's just for wolfish. That's not true. The preference of my own opinion i've used these so many times a year's worth <laughs> of using rattlers and all of my biggest fish came from using rattlers okay um my my biggest greenland shark uh, my poor beagle my biggest poor beagle they all came from using rattlers okay so basically what rattlers do is they basically like hop off and on the ground so they cause like a rattling noise which attracts the big fish okay um honestly i've caught more species um than wolf fishes <laughs> i barely catch any wolf fishes on here these are what these are meant for but i don't even catch wolf fish on these <laughs> i catch all the big species so if you're going for the monsters if you're going for the biggest of the biggest goliath in the ocean behemoth i'm um, like a 500 kilogram shark yeah i would recommend using rattlers um the best colors it's hard to say because i go on discord right and i copy my setup from there I, everyone copies each other in this game that's how it works <laughs> but the the best luck i've had with rattlers is blue yellow and orange i know a lot of people have um, pulled a lot of good things with pink and this um the silver rattle but for me the blue yellow and orange have been the best the worst ones have been the, the green red green and black have been the and white have been the worst for me um but yeah that's what rattlers do they're they um uh they attract some pretty big fish the bite rate is pro is more slower in my opinion when you use the rattlers way slower and it takes longer to get to the bottom um but rattlers are meant for heavy, heavy fish, all right? So if you want to try yourself, um, luck with a big fish, put a rattler on, see what happens, all right? So um, I'm not going to put a rattler on because we're targeting small fish here. I will mention all of these again when we um, go for the bigger holes. But for now, for the tiny 30-meter 30, 30 holes, 40-meter holes, we're going to go probably, yeah, with the fire stick. So with the fire stick, you have a choice of blue, green, orange, or red, okay? So... Uh, which one's better? I mean, yeah, it depends by the day. You can't just say orange is the best. <laughs> um, it all depends on the day. So what I would do is buy one of each color. It's not too expensive. And I would just um, try one every 20 minutes and see which one has the best bite rate and then go with that. So my personal favorite stick is the blue and green. So I'm going to put the blue one on. Okay, so it matches the, the lurker. Um, we're going to try to make everything match here. Um, so this is the um, attraction element at the hook, okay? There's a lot here. If you go in for the shower holes, I wouldn't worry about any of this stuff. Only focus basically on the fire tubes. Um, but 
if you see a Discord post, something like that, and they have this on there, Colored Octopus 906, go ahead and use that. But I wouldn't use any of these right here unless you see it post on Discord, uh, YouTube, or whatever the social media platform is. But uh, yeah, just stay away from these and try to only use the fire tubes, all right? Basically, these attract specific fish right here that people target, but when it comes to the fire tubes, these attract everything here. <laughs> uh, again here, which one's the best? There is no best color. You're just going to have to go um, and hopefully pick the right one, but what you can try to do here is try to match it with your rig. So right now, we are rocking with blue, so it probably would be the best fit if we used blue. Um, if you If you went to a deep, deep hole, I would recommend using the fluo tube because it's easier to see in the water. Again, we'll get there, but <laughs> uh, but we're gonna use blue because it matches everything here. All right. Um. So if you're sticking around the 30, 40 meter holes, I would put on the strips. Uh, again, you can use the small fillet. It doesn't really matter, but actually, it does matter. Okay. So people um often ask, what's the difference from a tiny strip, a medium strip, and a large strip um, fillet? Okay, so basically the, the tiny strips here, the fillet strips, these are going to target more of the sores. It's going to target more of the eel pouts. It's going to target the tiny, tiny species, all right? The medium ones right here, they call it small. I call it medium. I call these ones small, medium, and large. <laughs> um, but these ones right here, these are going to attract the medium-sized fish, small to medium, okay? The large is going to attract um, a medium to big fish, okay? So... That's basically it. So tiny fish, small to medium. Oh, sorry, small to me, small to medium, and medium to large. That's basically it right there. Okay, so we if we're gonna go to the thirty-four meter hole, thirty-four meter hole is where the eel pouts and the um, sorries hang out. All right, the sorries are only going to be hanging out at the thirty meter hole and the thirty-four. That's it. I don't think there's any other hole you can target sorries at. I could be wrong but I don't think so. Okay, so you're gonna want to try to target eel pouts and sorries. They're gonna um, get you the most silver possible. Um, so this setup is designed to catch those. Eel pouts go for a lot of silver, so does sorry. Well, not really, but <laughs> they, they, they add up, okay? So if you want the best silver possible, copy this rig and you'll have a good time at the 34 meter hole, all right? So drop shots, here we are. Again, we're gonna put on the three slot zero hooks because it's gonna, that tracks everything. Um, so the bigger this hook, the less bite rate you're going to get. Even though the bite rate still may be good, it's just bigger, less bite rate. That's just how it goes. Um, okay, so this. There's so many different things you can do here. But again, that's why I only picked the three holes first because there's endless things you can put on here. So again, if you're going for the tiny holes, this is what I would recommend. Right now, yellow is hot. If you're using yellow, copy yellow. Again, there was a question here. Does it matter if you mix and match the beads? To be on the safe side, match it. But I've been on Discord and I've seen people um, pull trophies left, right, and center with, say, yellow and blue with the yellow foam arrow fish. You can experiment with it 100%. I would recommend just, you know, just matching the colors. Um, if you're using, like, say, the natural squid, use the black one here or blue, whatever you want to call it, color. You can use black and blue. Right there, that works 100%. Like, uh, th this does work for mix and, match, mix and match and colors. Uh, you can use blue and blue. You can use black and black. It, it doesn't matter. For this, it that works just as fine. But again, for the foams, match the color, all right? It depends on what you use. Depends what you see on Discord. But uh, when it comes to foams, just use yellow with yellow. We're going to go another three odd hooks. And for this one, you can try using three yellows, three greens. But... You know, some fish may not want yellow, some may want black, some may want um, green. So, we're going to put all three different types on. Black is better at nighttime. Um, so, basically, if you're at night, you're not catching much. Try switching all of these out for black and see what happens, all right? Um, so, black with black here. Uh, three hooks again. And this one, we are going to use... Do I not have green? Really? I think I gave it away. Hold up here, guys. Hold up. We're gonna make a green one here. Oh, I don't have foam rubber fit. Hold up. <laughs> one second. Don't mind me. Does this guy have one in his vehicle? Hold up. Wait, buddy. Can I just break into your vehicle quick? Oh. Sorry, that wasn't me. 
It was that guy over there. Sorry, my bad. A hardware shop. Um, phone number right here. And we're gonna buy some more paints just in case. All right. Perfect. All right, now let's put on the green foam. Yeah, nine out of ten quality, ten out of ten quality. That's fine. Um, well, ten, of course, ten out of ten quality is fine, but nine out of ten, eight out of ten, seven out of ten. Well, seven out of ten, you're kind of pushing it, but eight out of ten plus quality, you're fine. Uh, if, you, if you're wondering that, um, and also, does it matter? I had a lot of questions too. Does it matter if the foam say it's like this? See how the foam has like it's on red. It's just about expired. Does this affect the bite rate? No, it does not. There you go. You're welcome. No, it does not. This is just the wear and tear. Good thing that wear and tear doesn't matter in this game, except for like lures and rods. Of course, all that wear and tear does matter. But when it comes to lures and you know baits. Look, it depends what bait you're using. <laughs> but when it comes to okay, let's just say foam. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when things like uh get old. But when it comes to foams, if it gets old, it doesn't matter. It could be on the, an edge of red left, and it's fine. You're gonna have the same bite rate as it is, as if the full green were right here. Yep, doesn't matter at all. So green, and we're gonna use with green. So basically here, we're gonna copy all the colors together, right? So basically, if you wanted to fish through the 55 meter hole, or a little bit deeper of a hole, and it gets darker down there, because remember, if you're down like 50, 60 meters, it's gonna get dark down there, right? So the fish are gonna have a hard time seeing it. So if you wanted to, you can go like this, right? Put one fluo with one green. So when the, when the lure gets, or the bait gets down there, the fish ha can see it a little bit, all right? So it's, it's uh, it, uh, it, um, it lights up the atmosphere in the bottom of the ocean, right? <laughs> Um, fluo so you can try that but if you're not in an, any deep hole you just shallow don't use fluo just use green um, you can try using fluo and fluo like this because technically it's still greenish right so you can try that of course but again just try green with green uh, if you're a little deep of a hole they use fluo so the fish can see it easier but this is a good setup to use right there um, another uh, setup that you can use at the sea that will do really good for the small holes is the uh hold up do i have any of them i think i do is yeah where's all the worn out ones those are the ones i've been using yeah so this one with black and white uh quick and then one more quick right here and then we'll put white on first this time and then black. So this is another setup you can use. Quickers are very hot right now. Um, even the pink one is super hot. I think I have a pink one. Yeah, yeah, right here. The pink one's good too. This is a really good setup right here. This will will get you a lot of fish as well. A lot of fish. Um, I'm just seeing if I'm missing anything here. Okay. So this is what you'd want to use at the, at the shallower holes. If you wanted to, if you know, if you're, if it's a fifth bugging you, I'm using a heavier line. I'll, I'll switch it up. Uh, just pretend this is rainbow line. All right. Pretend it's rainbow line. <laughs> um, so for fishing, I'm going to put, put on 60 and we're going to put on a, I don't have anything bigger. So pretend this is a 70 kilogram liter. Oh, wait, no, it can't be more. Pretend this is a 50 kilogram. <laughs> Sorry. 60 kilogram line with 50 kilogram liter. There you go. There's my there's my <laughs> small c setup <laughs> all right let's talk about the deep holes here all right so if you want to fish the 120 if you want to fish the 200 215 you know what i mean here 190 190 um, 115 the deep deep holes okay this is going to be the setup for you so we talked about the uh like the 30 meter holes and the shallow holes and what to use there i'm going to show you what to use the deeper holes all right so let's put that Hold that. Where's my big line at? There it is. There, perfect. All right. So, what I would use personally, and what you could use, is the Hunter 1000, Hunter 1015, Jigmeister DC 1000, um, Pickler 1000, uh, the Saw Pick 1000, Flu Spike 1000. So, there's a bunch to use here, all right? Which one should you use? So I'm going to mention the lures that you should stay away, stay away from unless you see posted otherwise. So if you see on Discord or YouTube and this guy or girl is pulling out like trophies left, right, and center or pulled a really nice trophy using, say, the Piffler number one, go ahead and use it. All right. At that one spot, use exactly what he's using for bait and all that and use his lure. But 
This is a very slow bite rate lure. The Pick Limbo 1, the Hunter 1005, the, the Soul Pick 1000, very slow bite rate. Very, very slow bite rate because they target specific species. And if they're not biting, well, good luck to you. <laughs> um, Fluid Spike 1000. So Fluid Spike, basically, this is a, it's, um, it lights up in the ocean. So when it's down way deep, um, it'll light up so the fish can see it. Um, but if I were you, I would just use the Hunter 1001 or the Jigmeister DC 1000. These two are the most popular ones that everyone uses, all right? Hunter 1000, Jigmeister. So if I had to choose between one, uh, it all depends. If you're going for more of like, um, I don't know, like say poor beagles, Greenland sharks. If you're going for like a sporty fish, um, frilled shark, um, I don't know, all the goody, all the good fish. <laughs> Use Jigmeister DC 1000, right? Um, but if you're use, using a Hunter 1000, so this is, yeah, that can target all the species I just mentioned too, but this is going to catch you more of like halibuts. This is going to catch you more Greenland halibuts. This is going to catch you more of uh, um, um, European anglers. Um, all the nasty fish, uh, basking sharks. Um, yeah, so there is a little bit of difference between the two. Depends what kind of like the category of fish you want to go for. Like, if you want the Hallies, if you want um, all of that, go for the Hunter 1000. If you want like the Port Beagles, um, Greenland, just go for the Jigmeister. Even though they can all bite in the Hunters too. They, they, all the fish can bite on any of these. I'm just much saying of what they prefer. All right, so I would go with the Jigmeister DC 1000 because that's what's the hottest right now. Um, so we're going to go and put on an eight. So the eight is the biggest lure, I mean, biggest hook that's going to have the best bite rate. If you go with, say, the 10 odd hooks or the 12 odd hooks, that's going to, that's going to make your bite rate to zero. 10 and 12 is, is meant for trophy fish. It's, you're meant, you're meant to be sitting at that one hole jigging for like an hour with no bites and hoping that one trophy to bite. So if you're trophy hunting, 10, 12 hooks will work. Just really, really slow bite rate. Trust me. Very slow bite rate. So Eight slash zero hooks is the best one in my opinion. You still target the monster species, but the bite rate is still not too bad. So we're gonna go with that. And here comes the rattle apart, okay? So I told you the blue, yellow, and I believe I told you the orange is best, right? I think so. <laughs> um, we're gonna go with, with, with yellow because yellow has been hot recently. So is the blue, but we're gonna go with yellow for now. Again, unless you see posted otherwise, stay away from these ones. Um, I mean, natural squid can catch you a lot of good fish too, like redfish, beaked fish, um, all of that good stuff. But I like using fire tubes because, uh, I don't know, I just love using fire tubes. <laughs> uh, but again, if you see someone post on Discord using, say, this, like this, use it, okay? By all means, use it. But if you don't know what to use and you're trying to go, you want to go to 120, but you don't know what to use, you don't want to go on social media, you just want to put on a quick setup and go. Well, that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm going to show you what you can do. Okay, so we're going to put yellow with yellow. Um, I know I just said don't use these, but you are, you are at the 120. All the big fish, they target these natural squids, right? That's what we're going to be using for the attractions and all that drop shots. So the more of these you have on, the better the chances. So I'm going to put on the yellow, the 2308 matching this. Um, if you want to go on and put, go ahead and put on the yellow fire tube, that will work just probably as good. But for now, I'm going to try putting on the 2308 yellow squid with the yellow rattle. We're going to put on a large fillet safe. In my opinion, the large fillet macros have a little bit lower bite rate than the... Um, the safe but uh yeah so this is what so far would i be using right here we're gonna put on we don't have any eight more hooks because i snapped it off my leader was uh getting really low and a shark booted everything off so pretend these are eight slash zero hooks right do not use 10 unless you see it otherwise posted just pretend this is 10 i mean not 10 eight pretend this is right here eight <laughs> sorry i don't feel like spending 100 silver 150 silver on example <laughs> we gotta buy more hooks um okay so we're gonna put on the the orange has been really hot extremely hot orange um pretend again this is eight hooks we're gonna put on pink has been hot with pink again eight hook and we're gonna put on the the black or blue whatever you want you prefer and we're going to use black and blue. So this is what, if I went to the 120 hole right now, and I'm not lying, this is what I'd be using. 
you know, I'm not going to stop making the video and put another rig up and go, this is exactly what I would use at the 120 pounds head and out right now, right here. Perfect combination. If you don't want to use pink, go ahead and no, red's been ass. Blue's been ass. Green has been extremely ass. I don't know when green has been active last. Um, so ass, ass, complete ass. Good, good, meh, and good, good. Wait, there's no, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, complete ass, complete ass. Uh, so yeah, the only good ones I would say is the pink, blue slash black, whatever you want to think this one is, yellow and orange. Stick with these right here. Yeah, green, no. Red, blue, green, red. I said red, red, sorry. Red, blue, green, white, and the fluor right here stay away from. Um, they have been hot. Uh, back in the day, but right now they're not hot at all. Just stay away from those ones as of right now, unless you see otherwise. Um, so the real squids. So these bad boys right here are going to, especially if you use a 26. These, oh man, the bite rate will be tremendously ass for probably a good couple hours. This is true trophy hunting. So basically, even if you put one squid on, that's going to lower your bite rate a lot. So what these guys basically do is target the behemoths i know i talked about of how um the other lures track behemoths these attract the trophy behemoths i mean it they do um so these guys will attract like like blue tag safe um and when i say this it's not mean you're going to get one okay don't put this on and go to the sea oh well canadian way said you're going to pull a blue tag with these these are what they will that they can catch all right doesn't mean you're going to going to i've used these guys for a long time haven't caught any trophies or blue tags okay um but these are what people have caught um fit, um good fish with is with these squids right here uh, uh blue take safes um massive frilled sharks um massive massive baskings massive poor beagles i'm talking big man like but be careful with these guys they are extremely extremely low bite rate and i'm meaning probably one bite every two hours that's how bad it is i've tried using um, all real script before even just one and it just it lowers your bite rate so much um but if you're wondering which squids are hot right now if you want to test your lockout go ahead uh the 2604 has been hot the 2601 has been hot all the ones you can see i've been using the 103 um a little bit of 08 but yeah just be careful with using these guys these do attract some blue tank mass of fish so uh yeah be careful when it comes to that um lens minnows the reason why it's locked right now is because you need a uh, bigger hooks oh, no sorry smaller hooks for these um but yeah um lens minnows and all that they work great too but unless you see it in discord i wouldn't bother because with lens minnows and all of the other ones you'll see here it has to be the right color all right or they may not work like the lens twisters are i've used these for like i think two weeks straight and i've caught so many trophies with these <laughs> like the lens twister 705 this lens twister 706 lens twister in general is a beautiful beautiful lure to, well, it's not really a lure but a bait to use um soft bait very good to use if you want to catch more crabs king crab um edible crabs um maggots can do the job for you and let's talk about crabs for a second tier okay I didn't even know this for the longest time. I found this out like probably a couple months ago. <laughs> um, but say you want to target um, bottom fish like crabs, um, king crab and edible crab, right? So, or um, or um, clams like mussels, um, scallops, um, all of that kind of stuff. Um, if you want to target more of those species, try not to perk at all. Try to um, go all the way to the bottom. And when you see movement at bottom, um, lock your reel in and then let it sit there. Don't work at all. Let it sit there. So I'm I I'm pretty sure this is true and because I've caught a lot more doing it this way. I, I've been told that if you leave your line just sitting there and you're not perking at all, you see movement at bottom layer and just leave it there and don't do nothing until you get a bite. That's going to encourage more of the crabs and say like the, the clams to bite because they're on the ground floor, right? So if you park they can have a hard time getting to it. But if you leave it on the ground floor with that bait attached to it, it's just like real life. That crab's going to come along to the ocean floor. You're going to see that. It's going to snatch it up. Boom. You got it. So I didn't know that, but apparently that is true. 
Okay, so if you want, if you're trying, if, if you're figuring out why you can't catch crabs or clams, that could be the reason. So if you just let it sit at the bottom, I think if we go to 30 meter hole, 34 meter hole, and you just let your lure sit there at the bottom with movement at the bottom, that's more of a chance that you're going to catch one of those fishes right there. So that probably will help you out that you probably didn't know. Um, also, too, if you go to the deep holes, 120 hole, you can try that too. Uh, you'd be surprised of how many big fish will actually bite your hook just sitting there on the on the floor bed you'll be surprised i didn't know all of this i thought perking was the only way you want to go but no if you just leave it at the bottom just let it sit there you'll be surprised but this is what i would use or you can use say something like this you can use um this setup right here yellow 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 with pink and black or you could oh, if you want you can try red you know red might target the the red fishes out there right you can try this setup but try to always use natural squids 23s if you're targeting um big fish and if you're going deeper holes always try to target um use uh 23 squids right here um so we're gonna go back to the little fish this is all I basically you need to know we talked about all the all the lures like the hunter the flu spark the flu spike um the rattlers and all of that um but I want to talk about the uh, the basic tiny little rig, like the 30 meter hole, um, 43 meter hole, really fast here. Okay, so when it comes to the shallow holes, what I didn't mention was there's a lot more lures you can use. So we're going to replace this, go back to the tiny ones here, the tiny setup here, the three. Uh, we're going to use blue. We're going to use blue fire stick. Uh, filet, we're going to use tiny. Um... You know what, for the sake of this one, using some using lens um, twisters. We're going to use black and white. Three. Yeah, this is another setup that you can use right here. Okay, I'm, I, <laughs> this, you, can, you can use all of these, right? The lens twister. So I'm basically showing you what you can, um, the setup for lens twister. You can add another one here if you want. That's another setup right here. But what I really want to talk about here is talk about the, uh, hold that where they are, where are they? Right here, the real shrimps and the natural shrimps. All right. What's the difference? Okay. So the natural shrimp I find targets more of the sores. It targets more of the eel pouts and all of that. The real shrimp I find targets more of the sardines. It targets more of the um, um, what the, what are they called? Oh, what's that fish called? Whiting. A oh, whiting. That's what it's called. A oh, whiting's um. Let's go to Norwegian Sea here. See here. I want to see here. Um, Norwegian Sea. So the real shrimps. Like American uh, American place, they're more of a um, na natural shrimp. Um, oh yeah, Atlantic herrings, real shrimp, um, natural and real, both 50-50 when it comes to them. Atlantic mackerels, I would definitely um, use um, natural shrimp when it comes to them. Um, natural. Um, right here for blue whitings, I would use real shrimp, 100% real shrimp. Uh, uh, European place, uh, I would use more of a real shrimp for a European place. Long head dab, natural for sure. Um, Pollux, natural for sure. Let's say it's all man, both. <laughs> um, no, yeah, and whiting, and that would be. I would use real for that one. Real and natural. They're both 50 50 for whiting. But you would target more fish using the natural than you would real. But if you target like more the sardines, go with real. Real shrimp. Um, they bite more of those. Um, but for the sake we're going to put on now, what I would use here. Uh, this is my setup. Orange. Natural shrimp. With three slot zero. Yep. Go all the way down. I'm going to put on the. Yeah, the three has been hot as hell. I'm going to put that on. If you want, you can put the last one's a real shrimp too, right? We can put a real shrimp on here. Why not? Just see, right? My favorite real shrimp would have to be the white. 100%. The white and pink. So we're going to put on the white real shrimp. And remember, you can go to the weeklies, right? And see what people have been catching the fish on. But this is a setup I'd be using right here too. Go to 34 meter hole and use the setup right here. 
bingo was his name. Well, this will catch you a bunch of fish right here. All right. Um, but again, if you want help, go to weeklies. Okay. Don't go to absolute records because that bait could have been used like, uh, like three months ago and it's not active anymore, but let's go to weeklies. I wish each water body had their own weekly page, but that's all right. Life goes on. Um, American place. Okay. Remember I told you about the pink quickers a while back. American places, they're hot right now with pink quickers, 4.5 of 7. So put two pink quickers on, or three, whatever you want with pink beads, and go on your journey, all right? The American place, they're going to be chilling out at the 41 border, like the, at the white areas, that border lines, the whole 34-meter um, hole again, the white area that hugs the, uh, um, I'm talking sure what I'm talking about here, like uh, here, this on the edge here, the whiteness, okay? Like the white on the edge. They're going to be hanging out there the most. So if you put those pink quickers on and go to these, the edges here, mwah, that should be beautiful. <laughs> um, so if we go down to weekly again and see what other species are biting on different stuff. Um, see, cod. See right here. Remember talking about the um, about the real squid 2606s? Oh, oh, 26s? Look at this. He caught a blue tag cod. Okay. Um, they target huge fish. I mean, when I said blue tag, they target blue tags. Like, he got a blue tag here, using that. Um, football. If you want to go to the 215 meter hole, or 190, try yourself for football. This is what you want to use right here. You can see. Um, halibuts. The pink natural squids. And looks like it's really hot right now on the Jigmeister 1000. Go ahead, put a Jigmeister DC 1000 on. Go ahead and put maybe two natural squid 06s on. Go to that was probably targeted on, it could have been anywhere, the 80 hole, 75, but 75 is, I call the honey hole for Hallie's. If you want to target halibuts, go to the 75 meter hole, put this on, bingo. There you go. Hopefully, good, good luck to you. Um, the Atlantic herrings. Um, so the green natural shrimp 7.5 is what they've been catching on. And see what I told you about the white white shrimp? I love the white shrimp. And here we go. A trophy's been caught on, a nice trophy has been caught on a real shrimp white um, black foam, more quickers. So you know what I'm getting here at. And here's green foam, all of this. So that's how you can tell to you um, of what to use in the sea. Um, because the sea can be very complicated, guys. It can be. And I'm going to show you really quick. I did mention in my um, my, my uh, Q&A video of what you should be doing with your lines, your test, your, your rods. So basically... For your beginner players out there, do I still need Ocean Queen? Yes. I would recommend either starting out with the Sensi Star or the Ocean Queen first. Okay. So the Sensi Star is about a thousand silver cheaper than the Ocean Queen. But with the Sensi, you get like an extra XP buff, some kind of buff out of it if you uh, get the Sensi. But it is like 15, 20 kilograms less ca kilogram capacity than the Ocean Queen. I would prefer go with the Ocean Queen. I love the Ocean Queen. You want the max kilograms you can get with the C. So this is what I'd use right here. Um, I still had C20 was with the first reel that I used, but, uh, where is my, there it is, the blue Tega. So if we go to Ocean Queen, pretend this is a Tega C30, all right? <laughs> pretend this is the C30. Um, the C30 has a mech weight. Um, so basically what a mech weight is, if you, uh, see if you pick it up here and we max it out. See the infinity symbol down there? It maxes out. So if you're at the C and you're using 29 right here and you are you don't know at all that you can max this out and you think it might break the reel if you max it out, oh, it's gonna snap. Not with heavy conventional reels. With spinning casting reels, yes, absolutely. But when it comes to these, no. It will, basically when you lock your um, reel to infinity symbol right there, you're now relying on your mech weight. Wow, I used my happy hour discussing about the sea. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, you can lock your reel and now you're relying on your mech weight. So the mech weight of the Tega C30 has a mech weight of, I believe, 110,000 kilograms. That could be wrong. I know it's somewhere around there. I just looked it up. 110,000 kilograms. So if you're on 29, you're using your friction brake. And your friction brake basically... You see this right here? People think, oh, the reel can only do, because it says right here, the max drag 7.2 kilograms, right? People think, okay, so the reel has a max capacity of 17.2 kilograms. That's ass. No, that's not. That's your friction brake, basically. That's the max of your friction brake is going to go, all right? Friction brake is, is nothing. You don't use your friction brake ever in the sea, unless you bring in like 100, 
gram fish um but yeah no that's that's nothing you don't look at that if you want to know what to look at um, the spreadsheet will be one for the first or second link in the video description It'll take you to a spreadsheet. You can click on the very top of the page There'll be a category pick on reels and that will show you every reel in the game what the mech weight is everything that you need to know All right So the mech weight on the Bel beluga take a c30 is around 110 the c40 I believe is like 130,000 35,000 so you get a little bit more and you can handle a thousand meter line on the 40. The C30, you can only handle 500 meter line. So uh, when it comes to C, you want a thousand. You really do, because uh, you can get spooled very easily. But you need, I believe, um, the heavy real skill unlocked, which is the max one to get unlocked. Um, so if you have it unlocked, I would use the C40. But again, we're talking about beginners here. So use C30. C30 is shit, almost just as good. Um, C go from the C30 and then go to the C40. Um, if you want, you can go from the C30 right to the tag LTD, which is one of the best reels in the game. It's it's basically on the, it's not, it's out of 20, it's probably like the 20th best reel in the game, <laughs> but it's still up there. Um, but it's tag a C30, I use that for like five levels, um, like level 34 all the way to like level 38, 39. So uh, yeah, very good. Uh, real because the mech weight again it's like 110,000 for the C30 and you're paying what like eight nine thousand silver for the real ten thousand silver for the real for the price yeah that, that's really good for the price for what mech weight you're getting that is insanely good price um but yeah C30 um you're probably gonna have something like uh let's see here you gotta be careful so if you're using the Ocean Queen the load capacity in the Ocean Queen is 68.2 the mech weight is 110 so you want to find line that's under the, the capacity of the rod can you go over the capacity of the rod absolutely but you don't want to risk it the last thing you want to do is break your ocean setup that's going to put you like five ten thousand silver down the hole and you're not going to be a happy camper so don't risk it for the biscuit it's not worth it so if this is a load capacity of 68.2 what i would use and pretend this is rainbow line because i don't have much rainbow line but pretend this is rainbow line here 68 i would use a 60 kilogram right here perfect if you have a 65 kilogram line even perfect as long as it's under the load capacity of the rod so 60 kilogram rainbow line perfect absolutely perfect beautiful and then this you want to make sure your leader is below your line so if you're using a 60 kilogram line I would use around a 55 kilogram leader so say this is a um I put on a 65 kilogram line here instead of 60 pretend it's 65 and we got a 60 kilogram leader that's perfect if you want to use a 60 kilogram leader with your 60 kilogram line i'm pretty sure that will be just fine i don't think you're gonna have complications but again i if you i wouldn't really want to risk it so just put like a 55 kilogram leader on there with a 60 kilogram line then you're then you're safe um but pretend this is a 55 kilogram leader <laughs> i don't got much guys i did a big giveaway i gave everything away i don't have anything anymore uh yeah, so, uh, no, you don't want that big. Let's do, yeah, look at 200. I already showed you a setup already. I don't really need to do this again. Um, oh, my three hooks are my other rods. So pretend it's a three hook, three, three odd hook. <laughs> um, blue. If you don't have drop shots unlocked yet, then just pretend this is all we got and, uh, put, oh, my blue one is on my other rod. Oh, screw it. Put green. And you know what? That combination could actually be fire. Who knows? There you go. If that's all you got, there you go. But yeah, that's a setup that you can use at the C. Um, you just, you just got to make sure, right? Um, that's how you know. So make sure you know the mech weight. The line is under the mech weight. It's perfect. Um, the line is under the, the kilogram capacity. The rod is perfect. And the leader, we're pretending, is 55 kilograms, which is under the line capacity perfect so you gotta look at like a three-way split here you gotta make sure everything lines up perfectly all right some other tips that you may not know about the sea let's see here so if we go to the bait shop over here the duck the here yeah the bait shop so there's a lot of goodies over here all right so if you're targeting say if you want to target um those oh, okay i'm just gonna show you because i can't pronounce their names so if you go to the sea, that, so if you want to target these specific species, I can find them here. So if you want to target um, the Esmark eel pouts, if you want to target the European Chimera, um, anything else here? 
Oh yeah, the rough hand, the rough head grinier. Yeah, so those three fish, those are one of the three rarest fishes in, in the game um, next to football fish. So if you want to know how to catch those, you simply put either a, a Neris on or a Lugworm. So you know what? Let's quickly show you here. So if you want to target those species, let's do it. Let's put on, I believe it's this one. I put a thousand gram on there. And if you if you have a little setup and you can't put a thousand gram on it, it exceeds your um your setup. Put like a like say a six hundred, or if that still does exceeds, try four hundred, three hundred. Put it, keep put lowering it until it doesn't exceed your limit anymore. <laughs> um, so you're gonna want something tiny here, like probably a. Yeah, that works. 55. We're going to want to use... I'm going to use um, two slots because these are very tiny fish. Um, but a lot of other species can probably bite it too. So we got to be careful. Um, put this on. Um, yeah, this is fine. I'm going to probably put on... I'm going to put a fluo one on because it's deep down there. So that you want the fish to be able to see it. So we're going to put a fire stick blue so you can see it. And then in a, a fluo tube on this one two and we're gonna pour it say a, ne a nurse there you go there's your setup so now you now you, you take this setup and now you want to go to either the 115 no sorry not 115 the 190 so if you go to the 190 I'm, it doesn't matter 190 the 215 the 170 the 180 200 190 on this side um, so all of those spots right there, that's where you're going to target those, um, those little critters at, all right? You would think you'd be targeting them at 34 or 30 because they're tiny, right? But no, these critters, they are, they are uh, bottom feeders. They are deep bottom feeders. Um, so yeah, so you want to go all the way down. You don't perk with the setup at all. So basically, when you see movement at layer bottom, just leave it. You just leave it until you get a bite. It, it can be boring, but <laughs> yeah. So there you go. If you're wondering how to catch those species, I know a lot of people wonder, how do you catch those? And there you go. That's how you catch them. Um, cafe, yeah, shop. I'm pretty sure I went over everything that you need to know. Um, yeah. Um, if this did help you in any way necessary, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, hit the bloody hell out subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the very next episode of Russian Fishing Force. Take care.